On 6th of November, DEFCO management endorsed the learning and knowledge development strategy and an action plan for its implementation. Why does DEFCO need such a strategy and what are its objectives? Well, first of all, I think that uh, all organizations uh, need to manage, develop and share their knowledge. We all know, I think, that uh, we know many things in this house. We have a lot of experience. But we don't always use all that experience. We don't always share all that knowledge. And the essence, the central of this strategy is to try to organize things in such a way that we can better know what we know and better share what we have done. And I think this is the main ob objective. So in fact, develop, retain, share and apply the knowledge we have in the house is the real objective of this strategy. On the knowledge management side, DEFCO has already achieved a lot. What more can be done? Well, we can always do more and do better. And I think in this area, I think there's a lot we can do. We can strengthen our capacities. We can strengthen our organizational culture. We can better know uh, the, the capabilities and the capacities and the experiences we have. So collaboration, knowledge sharing is the key. The, um, we have new colleagues coming in. We have colleagues coming from delegations, colleagues going to, to delegations. All these experiences can be better used in the, for the objectives of our organization and for our development policy. We also have colleagues who have a lot of experience and colleagues who came recently to DEFCO. How we can use these different experiences, the different capacities, is also an objective of this, of this strategy. How we can better use the talent of all of us. How we can better translate that into concrete action. And of course, uh, this will have implications as well in career management, recruitment, etc. Can we succeed with present complex and constantly changing procedures and work overload? Well, I think we can. The, um, we have managed over the last six years to survive to all the procedures we are so good in inventing. The, um, the thing is, let's look at it uh, with a creative approach. And um, let's not use the argument, we have always done it like this. Let's see if it's justified. And for this, we need the participation of all of us. We need to look into our internal procedures and our policies to see the procedures we use. Are they justified? Can we do better? Can we simplify? Do we need 20 visa steps in the same file? Certainly not. But we need to do it. We have started doing it. And then with this strategy, we hope we can link that with improved access to, talk to, to knowledge, to expertise. We can certainly ameliorate uh, the support processes. We have launched a new strategy for our IT systems. We have access to other means. We have capacity for dev, which is a way of sharing in information. The strategy tries to put all these things together with a common objective of, again, knowing what we do and knowing who does it and how to share it. DEFCO has already had training plans in the past. What's going to change on the learning side? Well, we will continue, obviously, with our training plan, trying to focus more and more in the real needs of our DEFCO business, and on the other hand, to link it better with the overall uh, corporate training approach managed by DGHR. The, um, we have a special reality in DEFCO, as you know. We have headquarters and we have delegations. We have uh, colleagues working in 100 different places. And so it's very difficult to organize things taking this in consideration. Today we have the possibility of e-training. We want to develop these capacities so that colleagues, wherever they are, they have the possibility to have access to the same training opportunities. We'll continue as well with the classroom approach of training in, in Brussels. For colleagues in delegations, we'll try to link it always with uh, holidays or with missions in Brussels. But the objective is always to try to focus on our core business in our DEFCO, training exercise and at the same time link it with the corporate training so that colleagues that are in DEFCO can tomorrow be in another service and profit from these different uh, possibilities. Who is in charge of the implementation of the strategy and action plan? Well, implementation of the strategy is really the job of all of us. 
uh, each one of us, each one of you in the unit, in the directorate, in the service, with colleagues, we are the ones who can make it. And if you want to make it, we will make it. Of course, there will be a steering committee and Unity Higher 7 will, will be in charge of this. But really, if you wanted to make it to make a success, it's you who will make it a success.